Okay, OG Percy. Okay, that was okay, TV. okay, okay, okay. We in the building. Fuck y'all talking about. Yeah, man, how you been, bro? I been. Yeah. Yeah, you hear me? On top of the ground, the ground ain't on top of me, man. Okay, man, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hop right into it, man. Let's go, uh, man. Hey, man. Uh, so what's the most deadliest thing that you seen in prison? Most deadliest thing I seen in prison. It's a lot of deadly things in prison, man. A whole lot of deadly things I didn't see, but the most deadliest thing that I that I seen in prison is gambling. Gambling? Yeah, man. The most dangerous thing in prison is gambling. That's something the niggas don't even pay attention to. Gambling. Uh, right about now it's football season. Gambling is on a, is on a high right now. Right. It, it, um, it, when you say gambling, is you just Cause I I know you've seen a lot of shit, man, during them years. You know what I'm saying. So when you say gambling, is you mean like gambling on your ass, or they just they just gambling? That was a good one, balls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tales from a crib, gambling, man. Uh, they got a thing in prison. One thing I don't do in prison, I don't gamble. Uh, I don't like losing. It nothing. Right. Uh, that's one thing about me. One thing I know about gambling, it's a risk taker. Uh, in prison, man. Uh. Say, man, watch this tale from a crib, man. It's, it's, it's niggas. I had a partner come to me one day and he said, Say, OG Percy, man, um. And I had one of my little crib homeboys. You know, I really don't pay attention. You know, I'm, you know, my job and nerves on a whole different level. So, um, when I'm in this motherfucker, nigga come to me, it's about one of my little crib homeboys that was a square business nigga. Right. You know, he said, Say, man, I need to holler at you. One, a blood dude come to me. I said, What's happening, man? He said, Um, man, I ain't want to say nothing, man, but, you know, your partner, you know, you know, your little cuz been on me for a couple of weeks, man. He ain't paid me. Right. I like, well, oh, you what, nigga? You know, and he had got to the point, um, you know, one thing about owing somebody in prison, you gonna have to pay up or you gonna have to defend yourself, one of the two. Uh, it ain't no, it ain't no getting around that type of shit. Uh, I found out gambling, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of niggas in in trouble. It's a lot of niggas in trouble, and there's a lot of niggas losing. Uh, I don't know nothing about gambling. Y'all don't get me wrong. All you gamblers out there that know what I'm talking about know that, that know that I, that I'm gonna be right on point. That's what I do. Diamond Stone TV. We stay on point, man. But watch this, um, gambling, man. Uh, so the dude come to me. He said my partner been on it for a minute, but he was time to collect. He nigga needed his money, man. And uh, he knew if he did something wrong to cuz that we was gonna react as a game. Right. But you understand me? Then you know you gotta think about it. Now we now you right. We gonna let you fuck with cuz. I don't give a fuck what he did. You can't fuck with cook. And um, I had to put violations. I had to add violating people into my um arsenal. You know why niggas? You know that's what niggas was doing. I had to add that to the arsenal. Violating niggas for gambling on their ass. Right, 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 right. If you put your ass on the line, shit. <laughs> that's your ass on the line, nigga. Yeah. You understand balls? I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Them niggas say, however you gonna pay it off. Uh, and some niggas do want, you know, ass on the line. Some niggas will gamble your ass knowing that they'll take your ass at the end of the game because you ain't gonna pay them. But that's what they want them. They don't want your money now. Yeah, I know you niggas, you hear what you mean? Yeah, nah, they don't want your suits. They don't want your stamps. They don't even want your currency. They won't nigga. even take the shit. Nah, they, yeah, they'll take your shit. Boys, that's what they after. You yeah. hear me? That's the whole part of it. Yeah, I know it. That's what they after. That was the whole part of them gambling you. See, that's what you niggas don't know. You young niggas get out and put yourself in positions that you can't get out of. Everybody yeah. want to go in there and be on some type of hustle. Because I know you young niggas. Whatever's going on in prison is um, it's just like in the world. Niggas going to get with the culture. Uh, and let me tell y'all something. Uh, prison roll faster than the world, y'all. Uh, now, I know y'all looking at me like, you know, what, what do you mean? Yeah, it moves a little faster in the world. A country nigga go to prison and come home a real nigga. <laughs> a country nigga from one of these little small bootleg towns to go down there and find out after he come back home, he be like, damn, cuz, yeah, he move a little fast, he talk a little quicker, you know, he, he on top of his shit a little faster now. He cold blooded. Yeah. You understand? But watch this, gambling. Them niggas go down there, they want to get into everything. Niggas, and, and some niggas know you ain't got it. But some niggas think they'll look at their size and nigga up and say, if I lose, nigga, I got it. You know, if I lose, but if I win, I can't lose. Yeah. If I win, I can't lose, but if I do lose, I ain't worried about it. He'll lose the fight. And they, that's how they settle. Some niggas don't know they don't play like that. Nigga, that young nigga over there don't play about his money. He'll kill you if you ain't got it. See, one thing about prison, if you don't pay up, it, it's, 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 a, it's a flag going to her. Because then got, you got to be stiff to gamble. You got to be. You got to be. And a lot of niggas coming there, um, not stiff. 
But they see the money, they just used to, oh, nigga, I'm in the stream of club, I'm at the club all the time. They'll be the club down here at the night, the after hours, shooting dice, nigga, with all the rest of the niggas standing around the table. Well, it ain't that type of party. You understand me? Uh, you see, you see, these niggas here from around the world. One thing about prison, there ain't no niggas from your city, it's the niggas from around the state in here. Yeah. Every, from every little piece of country town. In Texas, every little big city, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, folk, yeah, all the big cities, they in here. Them fast niggas, them quick moving niggas, them niggas that have been around the world gambling, they in here, now they gambling in here, uh. Nigga told me, said, man, your partner owed me. I said, what do you owe you, man? He said, man, he hundred dollars up, you have a dollar down at the knock table. Well, shit, I don't even know what the fuck a knock table is. You understand me? Nigga said, it's a knock table over there. So I look over there, I go over there to see my little partner still sitting down, gambling. I'm like, who? After the nigga done put the bug in my ear, that cousin ain't paid his own his own debt. He's a hundred dollars down, he's still sitting at the table. Yeah. So I go there and I tell the little partner, I say, cuz, I need to holler at you right quick, huh? He tell me straight up, I'm gambling right now, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, well, you know when you finish, come holler at me. How the fuck you still gambling? And you owe money over here. Something like, yeah, now you're gonna put crip niggas in a position where we gotta take up for you, cause cousin them want their money. And they got to the point, you don't even got it. And, right. So, and, so would y'all violate? Would y'all violate for that? When you owe another man something, another man feel like you taking from him, really, you know, and he really got to take up for his own reputation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we violate, that shows that he can get ran over. Got you. Gotcha. No, as a man, he gotta have to stand up for here. He know that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But he yeah. letting us know off the rip, cause we gotta know that's how it go. I'm gonna have to stand up for myself, man. Yeah. You know, really, violation ain't an option. Cause if y'all violate, they don't hold me down for being who I supposed to be. That means he still got an on me, and I didn't do nothing. Y'all did. You did what I'm saying. Yeah. And that's still money gone. Nigga might want to put a little more pressure on him. Yeah. You understand me for whatever he owes. So um. Nigga come to me and I tell my partner, I see he come to the table. Shout out to my nigga um, C Note. Um, um, in, in the orange circle. Uh, down there, uh, uh, what's that um? Um, Beaumont. Down there in the Beaumont. And shout out to P.O.P. You understand it? Down there in Beaumont. You understand? Off Ferguson. You know? Shout out to C Note. C Note, you crib nigga, but C Note, boy, I'll tell nigga attitude was, was zero. He was a gambler. Yeah. Uh, a real, a real, I, I ain't really never. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I just ain't really never uh, thought gambling was a real habit. I really never thought it was. That motherfucker harder than drugs. Shit, that motherfucker harder than drugs. Niggas be really fucked up about gambling. Niggas, how do you gamble when you ain't got nothing to gamble with? Yeah. And you, in the sad thing, you gambling big. Uh, cause I know I'm gonna hit this one, cause I know I got it this time. Cause watch when I go and I'm gonna go here. Cause but you ain't got nothing to bag your ass up with. But you think these right here can bag, this ain't gonna bag, they ain't gonna pay back. Uh, yes, man, I done seen niggas get raped over debts. <laughs> Talk to them, y'all. Y'all know I'm not, yeah, y'all know it. Real niggas know what I'm talking about. I seen niggas get their ass took. Yeah, you put your ass on your they line. Got raped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. And he said, yeah, yeah, that's a wrap. You put your ass, you, man, don't think this shit just was made up, y'all. Be, be, be logical. <laughs> it's, it's a saying that, listen to me, y'all, it's a saying that came from prison. Don't gamble on your what? Ass. There it is. Yeah. There it is. I don't have to, don't, don't try to label me a booty bandit because, um, God damn it, um, this is what happens. These rules were there before I got there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the, y'all didn't even know niggas would bet some ass. Niggas would bet some ass back down there. Yeah, niggas would bet some ass. Yeah, I bet you some ass, nigga. And them niggas ready to fuck some. They gonna bet you for that. That's what they want. They don't want no commissary, no money, no payment. They want what they gamble for. You understand me? And, and, and guess what, y'all? It's some weak ass, dumb ass niggas will put their ass on the line. On the line. And gamble on their ass. Yeah, and, and, and that's what they owe at the end of the day. Um. Uh, what what cuz come? Cuz just came from down there. Shit. You know you owe that nigga that money. Y'all watching this nigga walk back. He's walking on, look at him. But he just came down there from, from Cuz cell. You know, Cuz put it in no Cuz. He owe Cuz for a whole week. <laughs> God damn. Every time he come from that goddamn cell, his, his walk get limper and limper. A nigga down there running up in him, goddamn me. Now, this ain't no game, remember? This is a nigga that didn't gamble. 
on his ass. On his ass. And we know, you know, he ain't man enough to protect himself. And that's what he on. And we know that nigga that he gamble with, she. Square that's, business. That's what he do. Yeah. That's what he do. He's a BB. Booty banded for the jump. And he don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck who know he fucking this nigga. That's what he finna do. You understand me enough? It's sad that young niggas come in there and get caught up in all these motherfucking whiffs and raps and thinking that they, it, the world moving fast like they out in the world. And they come in there and they jump in what's going on in prison. Let me tell you something, Diamond. Uh, the other day I got a, I got a, I got a, um, a recording from some young niggas and they was rapping in prison. And I was looking at the young niggas how they was just, I mean, they was going. I mean, they was on their shit. Yeah, but yeah. the sad thing I seen in there that made me fuck me up is them niggas going to come out worse than they went in. Shit, them niggas ain't in there learning nothing. Them niggas ain't the, the way them niggas, and the shit they rapping about, and all them niggas. I said, look at these motherfuckers. Yeah. I you, said, think, he, you think he, they got comfortable just being? Oh, they is Oh yeah, 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 man. Listen, if the system can get you comfortable enough to come back, you got to say, I, I can't lie. I have been there before. I got out one time. Like damn, wonder what my niggas in there doing. Cool. Yeah. That was fucked up. Thank you. I, I ain't, I, and, I, and I really. You know what I'm saying? Was missing the homies. Yeah, I've been there before. Mentally, I've been there before. Shout out to my nigga Sprague Dog, Leonard, Dicky, uh, uh, Sp uh, Spud, uh, 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 um, Carlos, David, Larry, Larry Davis, Larry Griffin, um, um, P.I., T.I., all, all yeah, yeah, yeah. that was in there with me. You know, uh, we were living good. We was the J.U.N. crew. J.U.N. stand for Just Us Niggas. Yeah. Yeah, Just Us Niggas. <laughs> just Us. And that's what we, that was our little click in there, you know. You know, I did my little time when I got released that day, and I was like, damn, man, I wasn't with them niggas. I, I didn't fuck with niggas out here. I didn't have no partners out here like I was. I had like I had men in there, but gambling, man. I didn't see niggas get beat up over gambling. I didn't see niggas get jumped. I didn't see niggas get stabbed up, you know what I'm saying, over debts. Right now, you know, the parlays is running, pull tabs are running real. We are real random right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this is what's going on in there right now. A lot of pool tab, a lot of parlay tickets, and a lot of this, and a lot of that. I don't know shit about this shit. I don't know, they, they lose me. These niggas come down there and have books and, and um pages and open up numbers and oh, shit. I had remember a, a movie, I can't. I think it was um Malcolm X. At the beginning of the movie, the dude told him, he said, I'll never forget a number. The dude was running numbers for him. He said, one thing about Jerry, you know, he never forget his numbers. You know, and then in that movie, Denzel played Malcolm X, and he tried to run the numbers and get down on him, act like the man forgot. He said, no, shoot me, no, this was the number. And this man been doing this for decades and centuries, and they said one thing he never forgot was a number, and Denzel tried to pop it on him. But even in that movie, Denzel ended up going to the bathroom, had to jump through the motherfucking window, nigga, run out for his ass and try to protect me. Yeah, yeah. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> that's how serious it got in the movie. But one thing about that, that's a fucking movie. Guess when you somewhere you can't fucking run. And you owe money like that. Yeah. And that's what them niggas do in prison. They gamble on their ass, can't pay up. And then they, th man, listen, man. I didn't have, I know niggas, and this might sound crazy. I know niggas that went from, then took their jobs on the road in prison. I'm talking from penitentiary to penitentiary to penitentiary. Checking off the, Pen checking what? off the unit because they can't pay up. Look, because they can't, there you go. You better learn. Diamond been doing some yeah, time, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Diamond been doing some time, y'all. <laughs> yeah, fucking around with person. He got it down. Say yeah. Um, but he right. They gotta go. You got damn right, bitch. And them niggas would, them niggas go down and say, I fear for my life. See, one thing about the system now is called safe prison. They done made prison safe to go to. So if you run and tell gotcha. them, hey, I need to, I need to go. You need to go, what you need? I, and guess what? You can tell them the truth. You can tell them too. You can tell them I got in there and gambled up, got myself in a big dead, and I owe a lot of people and they gonna kill me. As soon as you say that, they gotta protect you. Well, lock him up, put him on transit, and we're gonna have to ship him off. His life's in danger. Well, um, not on Ferguson. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good move. <laughs> Shit don't work over there. I told you, Gilligan Island, once you're here, you here. Now, yeah, you go yeah. around this bitch, and that's the sad thing, where I get to pick up on the story here. You can gamble all you want on that hoe. You ain't going no motherfucker. No word. What? Well, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna just ship him to the next block. Get him off the block he on and put him on E block. No, man, you don't understand. I gotta go. Huh. I know it. Huh. To the next block, nigga. Yeah. Huh. That's where you're going. Over to the next block. Yeah, see, one thing about Ferguson, you don't get away till you come back with that work. Then they look at you and say, 
Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, ship him. Ship him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God damn, ship him. Well, didn't he come tell you? He said, I told you the other day I couldn't go over the other day. Oh, y'all owe some money. Hey, man, well, quit gambling on that. Yeah, yeah, put him down there. Matter of fact, put him on trains and let him heal up. And when you come back, let me talk to a couple of guys and make sure, you know, D Dimerson, what's going on? Do he owe anybody down there? Oh, okay, oh, I don't know. Dim, don't come here with that shit today. Do he owe anybody? I need to let the guy back out. Do I need to ship him off somewhere? Oh, I don't know what he even got himself into, Captain. I just thought, you know, hey. Well, um, the guy saying the Crip's gonna kill him if he come back out because he owes money. Well, I don't know who he didn't gamble. Yeah. He, he probably, he probably owes something. The way he looking in there, he, he owes somebody something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Captain Forrest is gonna yeah, always come and yeah, ask yeah, you. Yeah, 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 Captain Forrest always on top of her game. Send for them. Get them. I, I, and that, that reason alone kept me in the captain's outfit. Shit, because there's more blocks than one on that motherfucker, and, and, and these niggas doing shit everywhere. Yeah. But anyway, I done seen niggas gamble to, um, you know, um, you know, giving up your ass is, is, is um, you know, one of the lowest things, you know, you got to do. But uh, niggas, niggas, uh, gamble to pay a debt out, they'll tell them to kill another nigga. Yeah. I'm going to stab nigga, shank that whole ass nigga right there, nigga, we good, we square, square us out. I don't like that bitch. A nigga make a blade so he just won't have to give his ass up or have to do nothing different or have to pay and take you out, nigga, to keep his dead. I know y'all niggas looking at me like some shit don't get that serious. But let me tell y'all something about prison, being in, being behind that wall. Five dollars is a lot of money. Now, I'm, I'm going to make that sound cheap. Five dollars. Goddamn right. But, um, your word is worth more than all that. Huh. Your reputation, your life it ain't shit. That five dollars, a lot of money. You got niggas that'll take five dollars and stretch it for a whole month. Cause they ain't never, they used to not having in that motherfucker. Family done died off, girlfriend done left, wife gone, nobody here to take, ain't, ain't got his shit. Niggas writing on the other side of the UK trying to get somebody to correspond with them to let them know how I'm in here, I need some type of help. And then they fuck around and gamble and hit a lick, and you ain't got their money. I learned one thing in prison. The worst nigga to owe something to is a nigga that ain't got nothing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I learned that. The worst person to owe something to is a nigga that ain't got nothing. He ain't got nothing and you owe him? How much you want? Yeah, I owe nigga $50. Ooh. Shit. Nigga looking at that like $50,000. What? Yo nigga $50. Sad thing about it, these new era niggas, these new way niggas, they come in there, they be, see man, nigga owe 100 over here, cause he owe 50 over there on the knock table, he owe 25 over here on the spade table. God damn. Yeah, you know, he, he behind in the dominoes over here, man. <laughs> and this nigga, and he, you see these niggas, man, they be sitting, I mean, these niggas coming there with the look on their face, and then sometimes, shout out to the gamblers. Shout out to niggas, cause guess what, I see some niggas pull through. I see some niggas get in the hole and come out the hole and be just, God damn, cuz. Damn, cuz, man, don't do that shit no more, bro. Now, I warn, nigga, I hit, I hit, nigga, I hit, nigga. Then they get to talk about that and hit, goddamn me, and then you, I get happy for the nigga, cuz I'm over there knowing the nigga was in the hole. This nigga hit, look at him, he happy in a motherfucker, he jumping around, he knew his ass was gonna get skinned up. And they hit, and they finally come up, and them niggas get to winning, man, and uh, you know, I, you know, I take you down to bad time, I take you down and see niggas hit and, and, and come in that motherfucker with, with five bowls of spreads and, 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 and God damn, feeding everybody. What, what he hit? That nigga, he hit on a knock table. Oh, he hit on a parlay. He hit on a pull -em ticket. God damn, nigga, he up in gambling. And niggas feeding the hood or feeding the, feeding, feeding the crib nigga or feeding doing what they got to do yeah. with their money. Uh, God damn, man, and they keep something going. But when you losing, you can tell the losers, shit. It's just like gambling, y'all. Um, I, I don't know nothing about it. I, I speak on it because I watched it. Um, and I watch niggas how they act. Um, the niggas that's, that, that's gamblers, shit, that's on, you can tell. Um, Drico, shout out R.I.P. to Drico. One of the top notch gamblers on Ferguson Unit. Gam Drico, yeah. Drico a gambler on a roach race, nigga. We see if they racing. You got two roaches over from the race. I got the, I got the green roach, cuz. God damn, cuz. Yeah, get, give me three on the green. Yeah, that's Drink. Yeah. Drink gambled on everything. Drico. Every, Drink, they, Drico never went outside for five motherfucking years. All he was doing was gambling. Gambling, gambling. Uh, Tales from a Crip. When Drico got ready, when Drico got released that night and he left Ferguson Unit, uh, he was on the same block. 
I woke up, goddamn it, and Trico hit my cell door. He said, say, look out, cuz. I raised up off the blanket and I looked up, it was Drink. He said, cuz, I'm gone. Uh, I catch up with you in the world, cuz. Yeah. Straight, straight up. I said, all right, all right, Drico. Straight up, cuz. He said, cuz, I'm leaving you these two bags right there, cuz. I don't want none of that shit. I ain't taking none of that shit home with me, cuz. Straight up. I said, all right, appreciate the drink. He said, yeah, cuz, I'll see you when you get out there, cuz. I'll be out there. I said, right on. And, um, that morning, man, I told the guard, guard to open the door, let, get my two bags in. Nigga left me two big ass bags. Um. <sighs> Now that I know the Drico have been gone 13 motherfucking years down here on this unit, you understand, flat years, uh, all he did was gamble. I'm looking at this motherfucker, everything. I said this nigga left me a whole bunch of motherfucking books. Mother a bunch of books. Nigga had a bag this motherfucking high, and when I felt it, it just felt like nothing but little bitty thin, thin packs of shit. So I said, ain't nothing but a whole bunch of magazines in this motherfucker, man. Uh. I, I threw the shit in the corner, y'all. I don't want to read no goddamn magazines. Yeah, 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 yeah. He gave me a whole bag of magazines. Now, I seen one bag. That bitch was... It was the same way I said this nigga left me some bullshit. Uh. <laughs> Cold thing about it, man. When you think shit like that, that's what you think. I go in the goddamn cell one day. I, I mean, a week or something passed by. I said, I said, man, clean this goddamn cell out. Get the shit up out of here, man. For how these books and shit just sitting around. <clears throat> Nigga might got a good magazine. So yeah, I go yeah, to bust yeah. the bag open and I'll be there. Um uh, I don't even have now in her right now. But um they got they got tuna packs that's real flat. You know the tuna packs yeah, that come not, they don't come in the can, they come in the packs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, don't you know that's what them two bags was? Nothing but meat packs. Nothing but meat packs. Sardines, tunas, this kind of tuna, nut nut meat packs go a meat pack in prison is like a dollar. You understand me? You know. That's what they gamble on, you know, something to eat. Throw a meat pack in there, you know what I'm saying? Meat, meat pack is more than a noodle. Fuck that, you know, a noodle, they gamble noodles, you see niggas. But meat pack and stamps, oh, they gonna go like it ain't shit. Don't you know Drinko left me two bags full of meat pack? I said, God damn, it's over $200, $300 in each, in each, in each. God damn, Drink. I didn't pay, I was like, God damn. I said, because these ain't number of meat packs. Yeah. I came up! Yeah, I, me. Yeah, oh, I came up. I was happy in a motherfucker, <laughs> man. I was like, damn, I, I, I knew my nigga wouldn't leave me no magazines. That was my way of thinking. I was fucked up. Rational thinking, my thinking. That nigga, I thought they were magazines. This nigga wasn't number, because that goes to show you how much Drico gamble get. Drico, anybody that knew Drink, um, which all the niggas that know him that's listening right now, know that's all he did. He was a gambler. And guess what? He was just like Denzel. He ain't never forget a number. <laughs> and that nigga was gambling. Drico was so cold in gambling because don't you know Drico gamble on this? He don't gamble on his block. He gamble on the unit. Yeah. He worldwide with his. I, I, I got a couple of bets down here on E-Wing. Uh, I'm on the Parlay ticket over here on J-Block. I ain't got me two uh, run tickets over here on such and such block. He get, that's how he gamble. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in it. He, 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 he the nigga that keep the pencil time. I ain't just there in his pad. He say, cuz, where we at? What, what, what y'all got going over here? Okay, put me three on there, cuz. Put me three on there, cuz. All right, all right. He making his tea. He go to the next block. Say, cuz, what's running over here? Who got the parlays? Give me, give me three scratch, three parlays, three pull-ems. Yeah, and put me on the board. Yeah. Like, damn, damn. Go to the next block. That's how I call. I said, gambling? Listen to me. Gambling is a real, but Drake ain't the only one doing this. Drink might, you know, you know, and he got, you know, he got the money in the bag. I said, this nigga ain't doing that much motherfucking gambling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She. Whole time he going in. The truth. But Drinko was a rookie in the game. Let me put it like that. It was nigga. It ain't the niggas that's gambling. It's the niggas that's running the gambling. Think about that too. Uh, I know niggas that ran $10,000, $100,000, you know, just in, on gambling alone in one season. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they pull up and, be, and get ready for the next season to come back around. Sit it on there. Some nigga run the basketball, but some know that football is, hey, right about now it's jumping. I don't know, I don't gamble. But I'm gonna tell y'all something, when you in the system, you gotta be a part of the system, you gotta pay attention to everything in the system. And gambling, I paid attention. These niggas be gambling, I, I get out the way. You know, um, I got money, but I ain't got no money to lose. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm stingy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I don't, and these niggas be losing, they be out of, i like, God damn, niggas just lost 200, and that's why you seeing them coming. Oh man, God damn! Niggas ready to fight. Oh yeah, he must have lost. 
You know me? I just can watch TV, act like I don't see shit. <laughs> I'm listening to you. Yeah, he lost. He He's looking lost. for a fight now. Oh, yeah, yeah, but anybody can get it right now. Anybody. Anybody right now. <laughs> you know, say, I'm the nigga gonna be laughing. Yeah, anybody can get it right now. That's how y'all niggas know niggas had them tears in their eyes. They done lost. Uh, the lose, but watch this. I'm gonna show you. There's some balling niggas. Shout them niggas from out of NO. Shout them niggas in NO, man. Shout them niggas. I, I don't even got y'all shit on today. Them niggas some gambling motherfuckers. They gonna gamble. They gonna gamble if we ain't lose the job. Man, I gotta give a shout out to my, my GD homie, Frost G, man. I had, to correct, I had to correct some shit, and I just told that nigga I was gonna correct that for that nigga too, man. Uh. Shout out to my GD nigga on, on, on Ferguson, man, Frost G, man. I, I damn sure, I damn sure had to correct that nigga, man. Uh. Yeah, he's a gambler too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I told him I was gonna get him right today any goddamn way. Yeah, so I get him right, right. He's a gambler, goddamn me, Frost Jeezy. Frost Jeezy. Frost G, man. Uh, one, one, uh, one, oh shit. One, 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 one of the most talented right there, man. But anyway, uh, niggas, if you ain't got it, please don't go in there and act like you do. And if you do got it, you know, yeah. gamble wisely, man. Yeah. I don't gamble, but I'm telling you, I ain't seen niggas get killed, man. I ain't seen niggas get the knife put on their ass for not paying up, man. I'm gonna kill that nigga, man. I ain't seen niggas go from unit to unit gambling hot. Oh, I see niggas go to where they can't even go no more. To where they got hits out on them. Nigga, 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 right and tell the nigga that you over there. And yeah, man, you better watch him because he gonna gamble up, man. He gonna burn on y'all niggas. He gonna run up his tab. Nigga got a good game. He just came off a of win unit doing this. He did? Yeah, when they just came off of East Ham doing the same thing. He just came off Turl unit over there. He just came off Pac-1 unit doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn. Yeah, he just been on children's unit. He was doing on children's unit. Same nigga. Yeah, you know, they moved from children's over. He went to Huntsville unit. Went from Huntsville down there to Darren. He was on Darren. Yeah, now they got him on Coldfield. I just named all these units, and these niggas would do this. These niggas would do this, run up their gambling, knowing they can't pay, and they know how to get off. They know how to leave. Automatic, because one thing about the system, you can't change the rules. You can just change the game. Them niggas gonna use, and niggas would do that. Niggas know niggas that run from system to system. On they ass, gambling to that and get and to that to that goddamn me mail catch up with them. What's the mail? Yeah. Nigga be like, cuz, did you bring your mail with you? Well, man, my waiting for my mail to catch up. Well, the mail is not from the, the post office, niggas, from somebody to book and get a nigga clearance. He can sit down over there. But he old. If his mail don't come catch up with him, he gone. Yeah. Niggas well, I already know what it is. Oh, cuz you such and such. Yeah, yeah. Cause guess what, you know, they just moved cuz off the unit. Well, you just came off Turl unit. Yeah, yeah, then nigga be like, oh, yeah, say cuz, I just came. Yeah, cuz you just come off Turl. Yeah, I got niggas just came off Turl down here. Oh, man, say, man, that's that nigga that ran up the tab over there, cuz. That's him? Yeah. And nigga look around like, ooh, damn, that is that nigga. Yeah, that's one of them niggas. Yeah. Ah, damn, I gotta get off this motherfucker. <laughs> that, yeah, I know. Yeah. You gotta come tell them nigga waiting on my mail to catch up with him. I already cleared everything up. When my mail get here, let y'all niggas know. He was like, well, cause you, your mail better hurry up and get here. Cause that nigga down there say you fucked up niggas over there on Turl you and he just came out there. Yeah, you that nigga. That's why I saw the system work. You can't run. <laughs> you can hide, but you can't run. Nigga, you gonna run into somebody that you done fucked over in the system that you know. Uh. So gambling, everybody think, you know, being in the gang is deadly. Everybody think, you know, this right here is deadly and all that shit is deadly. Nigga, gambling is the most deadliest thing that's going in prison. Gambling. Yeah. Gambling. Uh, it ain't the gangs, nigga. The gangs, they, they, they fuck with each other. But when you're gambling, that means anything can happen. Gamblers, you don't have to fuck with your gang to gamble. You can gamble outside your gang when it comes down to gambling. Neutrons. Uh, uh. Oh, Tales from a Crip. It was a white boy on Ferguson that ran... The gambler name, oh, shout out to O, man. The white boy, oh, you still, still, but you know, the majority, you know, you know, let's, let's just get it right. He's a white boy, he runs the gambling. You know what we gonna think. Oh, we can get over on the white boy, she. Shout out to O, man, and O was a, was a, uh, a AC, not an AB. He's an Aryan circle. Right, 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 right. He's an Aryan circle, and uh, me and O was like this, man. I didn't even know O, you know, and he said, he told me one day, he said, Percy, man, I'm thinking about getting back into the game, man. I'm like, what, what's the game, man? You know, he said, shit, I'm thinking, I'm uh, start back, you know, running my gambling. 
Well, this was something O was doing before I got on the unit. You okay. look at him, had a little weight up on him, you know. But O could play a little basketball. O always wanted to hoop with the niggas. Yeah, you say he been over there about 11 years. Yeah, yes sir. He did about 11 years and uh, he always wanted to hoop with the blacks. And he act, he act like, he said, man, you know, today I was kind of off, but you know, you just shot. Like, oh, you get out there and you hang. He, he take all, say, all the punishment and abuse the niggas try to get away, boy, he right there with it. He doing the shit right back to him like he one of them. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, said, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, nigga, oh, he gonna hoop. But I didn't know O ran to gambling. So, um, you know, one time O came to me and said, say, man, um, uh, when the, one of your guys owe me, um, you know, $400, I hadn't been meaning to say nothing to you because O talk real fast, he real polite. Um, but one thing about O that fucked me up, I had finally seen O get an attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, damn, O get, at, o get mad, you know, and that was cool. I had never seen O get mad about nothing. O I always stayed on point, you know, he never wanted no shit, you know. He said, say, man, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to say nothing. He had a little eyebrow up. He said, say, man, I didn't want, I ain't been want to say nothing about nothing. But, hey, man, no, 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 fuck this, man. You know, one of the guys over there, he been on me for about, like, four weeks, man. And I told him I wouldn't say nothing to you because I know how y'all do, people, you know, with this O. And, uh, but, man, you know, it's to the point he act like he don't want to pay me, man. I said, damn, look at O got a little attitude. I said, I said, what's up? He said, well, I'll tell you what, man, he owes me um, $200, man. He's supposed to bring my money in. And, um, I'll tell you what, Percy, um, you give me 100 you can have the other 100 Oh, oh, smart. But I know it, I know it. He played a chess move with you right there. Dad, you, you just pulled it out. You good, Dom. You pulled your board out yeah. quick, didn't you? He, you pulled, he played a chess move with you. Right then. You know, I was still in the game. You know, I was still learning my chess move. You understand me? And, 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 and you know, you right. Right in my, right on me. Because, you know, right then, you know, uh, $100? Yeah. I just told you a while ago, $5 is a whole lot of money. Yeah. That nigga just told me, he will give me what? <laughs> Currency? He said, yeah, man, if you get it from me, I, I, I'll, I'll, you know, gap it down to get, you know. He don't even want it. He just want to know that he ain't got it no more. Yeah. Yeah, he want to know. He really just know. You know, he, he figures, yeah, I can just take a hundred loss, but I can't take the whole loss. You understand yeah. me? Uh, and Percy be the one, best guy to get it back for him. You understand me? Because that's the only guy he running from. But guess what? Oh, that was a good chess move. And, and uh, it's time he set my board up, too. Uh, you know, oh, I knew oh when O came to me with that, that he knew if I heard money, I'm going to react. Because who going to turn down some money? And who going to turn it down? He's the biggest nigga on the block on the Crip gang. So, nigga, I'm saying, you know, shit, yeah, we're going to get the hell yeah, nigga. Now, I'm going to keep the, um, if I can keep the hundred to myself. Now, I got to play chess. Now, my chess move is to, um, let the gang know this nigga owe a, a chess dick. You know, we got, ain't going to be no, we got to get it back. Now, he in trouble. That's my chess move. Yeah. So, cause if I tell him we get a hundred, it won't be no I get a hundred. It'll be we get a hundred. And everybody had their antennas and their tails up looking around for the hundred. Now, shh. I'm gonna keep that between myself. Now, my chess move is to get the nigga to himself and to run my game. Now, the gang, we're not really charging him up gang wise. Say, cause you owe cuz money. Cause if you don't got his money, you know you have to pay, man. Then now, I, my chess move is in the middle of that to say, hey, let me holler at you. Let me how I let you cook. And not in my trade voice, nigga. You yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> let me how I let you over here, cuz. <laughs> yeah. And that's not in my trade voice. It's not gonna be a cross out. Yeah. You hear me? Um, yeah, y'all kiss. I'll let y'all soak in there for a minute. Yeah, but anyway, I get him over and I say this. I said, say, man, I tell you what, I know you owe the dude. He said, man, I promise, man, if y'all let me make it, man, I had the money this weekend. Are you sure? You gonna have it this week. Yeah, man, my visa just hadn't been coming for the last few days, man. He said, but this week they supposed to have me. Well, it is Friday. You know, tomorrow's Saturday, right? He said, yeah, man, visitation tomorrow, man. I have it, man. Yeah. He said, well, I'll tell you what, give me that $200 that you, I ain't gonna even tell them niggas what you owe. Just give me the $200. He said, I'll give it to you. I'll put it in your hand. And I'm like, God oh, damn, I'm saying to myself, I'm getting my tears. This shit easy. You should. Now, my thing is, we can let this nigga slide right now, and guess what? He'll slide right out the motherfucking door on us. Because all it takes is one call. Out on me, all it takes is one call to say, I can't go back down there. Yeah. So, my job was to watch this nigga, put him on the uh, 24, no security, and on the unit, chest moving. No, put a chest move. Chest moving when you move one piece, and uh, a nigga snatch your piece, you gotta have protection behind it. That's the only, that, that's how I play. I always put protection behind every move that I make. In case you take something, guess what? You getting took too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Niggas look at the moves and say, say, you know, I can take that piece, but if I take that, what do we eat? 
You got to say to yourself, yeah, if I take that shit, he going to take that. I can't afford to lose that. So, I'm a, so my thing is to say, this is the chess move. I'm going to watch it. Me and Jose. Shout out to Foche Jose, Foche, my essay, yeah. man. Foche, we going to watch it. Now, what I did do, I put the bug in Jose ear because I need a shooter. You understand me? I'm playing chess too, right along with it. I need a shooter. Now, Jose, this the thing, nigga. I'm going to get $100. I'm going to get up that hoe. I already told y'all, $5 is a lot of money. <laughs> a nigga that ain't got nothing. She ain't saying what Jose ain't got. Or what, but I know what right now. We don't got currency. <laughs> oh, that spins way better than a noodle in a soup, nigga. You understand yeah, me? A yeah. meat pack. A stamp. You got currency. Or you can get what, you know. You looking good with money. I'm watching niggas count money here and hold like this. I said, cause I know these niggas ain't got real hundred dollar bills and I'm watching these niggas count. Shout out to King B, man. <laughs> I'm watching them. These blood niggas, god damn. They say, yeah, cause I, I, I'm telling I'm sending my daughter to college, man, nigga. I'm finna pay for this from her, nigga. I mean, where's y'all getting, nigga? I'm tripping over a hundred dollars. I'm watching, and I'm watching these niggas count hundreds. I'm watching mattresses get snatched, nigga. Jack moves, money, they know they got it down there. Yeah. You tell me you got a thousand. I got a thousand in the cell with my phone. Yeah, right, nigga. Pass it there. Huh. Me on the phone. <laughs> God damn. I'm behind. I'm caveman in like a motherfucker in this penitentiary. I'm behind. Yeah. The gambling, the, 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 the pool tabs, the running, the, the, the shit, it pay, it's paying off for real. When you ain't in the game, you don't know the game. So we just gonna let you just be a fighter, nigga. Get over there and go fight somebody. Go to record, son, nigga. We're trying to get some money. You know, that's what you good for. You ain't, this, this a part of the game in prison you ain't caught on to yet. I, then I start paying attention. Now, I, I never deal with Endeavor. I did shoot me a bit. I shot me a couple of bits. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know me, I was just, you know, just to say I'm gambling today because I felt like, you know, the game is more exciting. Woo! <laughs> when you gotta get, when you gotta bid on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the game is, I felt, just check it out, y'all. I'm smiling right now because I'm gonna tell y'all something. My first bid that I went in on, I won. I was jumping around the goddamn day room like I was somebody with the N.O. nigga. Shout out to Drew Brees. That's the name, you understand me? Yeah, Drew Brees. Yeah, yeah that man. Back in them days, um, when I was in prison, when these niggas was hot. When these niggas went all the way to the Super Bowl and I rode with my N.O. nigga. That's why, yeah, no doubt, I'm glad you brought it. I rolled with my N on it. Shout out to N.O., man. One of the coldest basketball players on Ferguson. Had the coldest ball, handles with the ball. Everybody know who N.O. is. I ain't got to say N.O. speaks for itself on Ferguson. Young, skinny, skinny little nigga with a bad attitude and can fight, like, fight his ass off. Yeah. Uh, G.D. Oh, fuck, he one of them. I don't want to confuse you, so I'm, I'm just going to say you was in something. I'm just going to say my Louisiana nigga. Yeah, Ward. Yeah, he'll jump around and get the damn life sentence for murder. Put it like that, nigga. Yeah, nigga, life sentence for murder. You understand me? Me and him got like this. Me and him got like this, but uh, <clears throat> I gambled with that nigga and uh, I won. I won. It felt good to win. Now I see why these niggas get so excited, so caught up in the gambling. You easy, understand easy, me? Easy it's the rush. Money. Yeah. It's the rush. But anyway. Me and I put four, I put four tray on uh, on a nigga for the money, and I'm, I'll be damned, diamond. He came back, he went to visit, and I waited for him. Like me and Jose waited, man. Jose said, "Say, cause I'm, I'm finna go in the house, see if this nigga coming here." Jose was a shoot. He kept the knife on him. He just wanted, to, you know, cause if the nigga didn't have it, he was gonna damn it. Yeah. Man, I said, okay. I'm, I said, all right, bam. We watched the nigga go to visit. Oh, he going to visit? Cuz you on your way, said, cuz y'all letting y'all finna go to visit, cuz. All right, okay, 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 okay. He go to visit. Now, our game is, we gotta hope he come back. If he don't come back, we know he ran on us, cause he gone, this gonna, be the, this gonna be the chess move that you have to sit here and watch on the board. And you know, you watching the board and you watching down. Yeah. You watch, then you watch the board, then you watch down again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, your eyes can tell a whole lot. That's how you catch niggas. You can see if this move is gonna be correct. And you can't look at him too much, cause if you look at him again, he gonna, he gonna see what you looking then. If he see you looking over there, he gonna make a different move, cause you already seen that move. But the game is, is patience. I sit at the window and I wait and I watch and I be damned. Visitation over with at five o'clock, my nigga. What time is it, shit? It's five ten. They gonna run the last, the last best coming down the hall. I say, you see him, Jose? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, cause I see him, cuz. Jose say I see him. I say, okay, 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 okay. Let him get you the dough. See, Jose is a motherfucker. When I say this goddamn <laughs> essay say fucked up. Shout out to my SA four chain. How many hours was y'all waiting? Oh, we waited. We waited for the last visitation crew to come in. And that's about like from five, five o'clock the last visit. So they run their last crew in by like five ten, five fifteen. After they did strip search and went through their ass, went through their mouth and everything to see if they didn't try to snatch something back in. But the white boy, this nigga was good. He came down the hall and I never forget, man. I swear to God, here it is. Jose ran straight up on him and said, "Come on, man. Come on with that. Come on. Come on. Come on." I'm like, God damn, Jose let him. And the dude went straight up, gave it to him. Jose, motherfucker, shit, nigga. Like, damn, Jose. Damn. He snatched that nigga in and walked out. I said, Cool, you get it? I'm like, Yeah, 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 I got it, cool. Well, come on, cause you had like you finna take take out the shit, your motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta watch him, man. Yeah, cause this all right here was safe. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga seen that nigga with that Yeah, I, I gotta hope he bring it back. <laughs> Cause now don't you run out with the money, Jose. Yeah, you know? yeah. He want a nigga that'll keep going. He be like, I'll be back, cuz. Huh? <laughs> anyway, no doubt, went straight man, to him. Went straight, caught him coming down, brought right up on him, and said, come on with that, man, come on, come on. And dude said, okay, okay, okay. I'm like, God damn. I was like, yeah, give me that nigga. He said, that nigga, and he walked out there in the house. I said, damn. I said, we good? He said, yeah, cuz, we good. Cuz came with up, broke bread. I got the hundred, I gave the hundred to O. Shout out to O. Took always hundred and I kept me a kept me kept me a hundred and split the hundred with my homeboy Jose 50-50 and I got me an extra fifty dollars. I don't wanna get caught with nothing. I told y'all Percy never got a charge on Ferguson. Yeah. I kept my hand and shit and everything, but you know you get caught with some money, oh you in trouble. Bo, 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 bo. Now you gone. Yeah. Yeah, currency? Shit. So you know me. I got the money, I was scared, I was more scared just by having the money, the fifty dollar bill. Then, then I, man, I gotta do something with it. Then what can I do with this motherfucker? You understand yeah. me? Invest it in something, put it on something. Say, you flip that, that. Well, you flip it. I don't want to flip it. I just don't want the shit around me. I didn't want drugs around me, cigarettes around me, nothing. But all this type of shit came to me because who I was. But um, I was just like them niggas. I'm going to gamble it off. Shit. I'm okay. I work in the kitchen. I don't need nothing. As long as I can stay full, do my time, I'm good. But gambling, the most deadliest, they ain't going in prison. That's a tale from a crypt, for real. Yeah.